I'm sorry? You want to do it? Observe it from the picture. You observed it. Great job, scientist. Palmer. 
Mrs. White, your appointment is here by the office. Mrs. White, your appointment is near the office. Thank you. Okay, do you see that cloud I cut out? What? What type of cloud do you think that is? Look at these three. Stratus? Does it look like a stratus cloud? No. No. Does it look like a cumulus cloud? No. No. Does it look like a cirrus cloud? Yeah. Why? Kelly? Because they're thin and wispy. They are thin and wispy, exactly. So, I'm going to take my glue stick. Glue it up. I'm going to glue the back of it. And I'm going to put it under the, what kind of cloud? Crispy. Crispy? The cirrus. <laughs> crispy. The wispy. Maybe that's what you were thinking, but they're cirrus. Say that with me. Cirrus clouds. All right, so I'm going to put it under the cirrus cloud, right, like that. Do you think 
think you can do that for the rest of these cloud types? No. And I will leave this right up here for you? No, 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 we're not done. Daisy. Aiden, you want to grab the lights for me, bud? All of them on. Yep, all of them on. So, uh, this is what we're going to do. After you finish that worksheet, these are important directions, right? We are going to make books. How fun would that be? We make a class book and then we can read it together. How fun would that be? Tap, tap your head if you think it would be fun. Awesome. Sophia, sit down for me. Sit down. Thanks. Okay. You ready to see the title of the class book? Yes. Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. Really sure? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It says, Our Class Cloud Book, inspired by, It Looks Like Spilt Milk. See this book? We're going to read this book, and then we're going to make our own version of this book. What's your question, Jamie? Great. So we, you want to see a page of the book? Yeah. Each of you are going to get a page. And this is what it says. It looks like blank. You're going to get to write in that blank. But it's not. So we're going to read this book. And while I'm reading this book, I want you to think about ideas for clouds you could make shapes you could make. Alright? It looked like spilled milk. Sometimes it looked like spilled milk, but it wasn't spilled milk. Sometimes it looked like a rabbit, but it wasn't a rabbit. What was it? Cloud. Sometimes it looked like a bird. <coughs> But it wasn't a bird. Sometimes it looked like a tree. But it wasn't a tree. You can say it with me. Sure, say it, read it. Read it with me or say it with me. Sometimes it looked like an ice cream cone. But it wasn't an ice cream cone. Sometimes it looked like a flower. But it wasn't a flower. It wasn't a flower. Oh, it doesn't say that. Let's read the words. Sometimes it looked like a pig. But it wasn't a pig. Are you thinking of ideas that you could do? It doesn't have to be ones that are in the book. Think of your own. All right, keep it in your head. Keep it in your head. Sometimes it looked like a birthday cake. But it wasn't a birthday cake. What's special about the word cake? Raise your hand. What's special about that word? Lorelai? Um, it has a silent E. It has a silent E? What's that mean? A wizard E. What's that mean, Anna? It makes the A say Oh, you are too smart. Sometimes it looked like a sheep. But it wasn't a sheep. Sometimes it looked like a great horned owl. It's a special type of owl. But it wasn't a great horned owl. Sometimes it looked like a mitten. But it wasn't a mitten. Michigan. Good observation, scientist. Sometimes it looked like a squirrel. But it wasn't a squirrel. Sometimes it looked like an angel, but it wasn't an angel. Sometimes it looked like spilled milk. Does that look like spilled milk on the table maybe? Yeah, but it wasn't spilled milk. It was just a cloud in the sky. Oh, thank you. Okay, so what we're going to do is I want you to close your eyes. Think in your head. Think of some ideas or some shapes of clouds you've seen before. Keep your eyes closed and think about it. All 
All right, open them up. Let's hear your ideas. We'll make a list together. Look at all these hands. Charlie. A sun. Aiden. Sully from Undertaker. Sully. Sure. If you've seen that in the cloud before, awesome. Lily, what about you? Monkey. A monkey. Kira, what could you maybe see in a cloud sometime? I knew it. That's why I called on you. I saw a cloud that looked like that. Yeah? I thought you might want to say that. Sofiana. A butterfly. A butterfly. Okay, I like that idea. Actually, Sofiana, that is what I was going to Oh, I know. We have a lot of ideas, and I want you to keep those ideas in your head because you're going to get to cut out a cloud just like that. Oh, can you bring me one of those blue sheets? All right, so what I'm going to do now is this is what you guys get to do. After you do this worksheet, after you do this one, you get to make your cloud, okay? And here's the deal. I have a white piece of paper for you right up by the turn-in bin. And what you're going to do is you're going to trace not trace, you're going to just make a drawing of what you want your cloud to look like. Try and guess what I'm going to do. A Martian. Raise your quiet hand. Raise your quiet hand. A Martian. Thank you. Oh, raise your quiet hand. Raise your quiet hand. Garrett, thank you for raising your quiet hand. A butterfly. I thought he was an alien. You thought it was an alien? I guess at the beginning it probably looked like it was going to be an alien, right? So, so what I'm going to do now. Did you, oh, I'll wait. I'll wait. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut around the edges. Did you notice how I didn't draw a lot of detail in the butterfly? We don't want to because think about a cloud. Do they have a lot of if, if we look at a cloud, do they have a lot of detail? No. Okay, so that's why I just did the outline. Just around the edges is called an outline. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to cut mine out. And you know what? I'm not even going to cut the whole thing out because you guys know what to do. But when I get it cut out, pretend it's all cut out, I'm going to glue it right on here. All right? Then, I'm going to fill in the blank. It looks like a, what should go on this blank, Carter? Butterfly. But it's not. All right. Do you think you can do that? Yeah. Once you have it glued, oh, raise your hand if you have a question. Once you have it glued over here on the teacher table, there's some cotton balls, and you can glue some cotton balls around the edges. Maybe even stretch them out a little bit and make three-dimensional clouds. That means clouds that come off the paper. Does that sound good? Yeah. All right. So your first job, Aiden, you want to grab the lights, bud? Your first job, if you can look right up here. I want your eyes right here. Everybody's eyes. Sit crisscross so people behind you can see. Here's your first job. Here's your to-do list. Your cloud chart that's on your desk. Turn it into the turn-in bin. And then you're going to cut out your cloud and write the shape. You can do that, just like I just did with my butterfly. When you're all done decorating it with your three-dimensional clouds. November, November. November, I'm done book. Are there any questions? Rowan. Does it have to be a cloud that you saw? Great question. No. It doesn't have to be a cloud you've seen before. It can be something that you think. Yeah, a I shape that you think in your head. And then maybe next time you're outside and you see clouds, you can look and see if that shape's in the sky. In a cloud, how's that? Great question, Rowan. <coughs> you may quietly swim back to your desk. I don't need to. Make sure you're doing your best work because this is going in a class. Good. I love how Anna already has her name and 
number on her paper. Make sure you're, you're squared up. Check your feet. Are they facing forward? Are you on your bottom? Oh, and you know what? I'm going to leave that. The definitions of the different kinds of clouds, I'm going to put that right up here for you. And I'll turn one light on. Can you still see okay?